This video describes the new Tabular Options dialog box that's been added to Stat Graphics Centurion version 17. The Tabular Options dialog box is used to modify attributes of text output after it's been displayed. It allows you to change the number of significant digits displayed in the results, the size of the text, and the total output width whether or not large tables wrap around or are displayed intact. You may change the p-value that's used by the Stat Advisor to interpret statistical results. You may also augment or replace the row labels using the strings from any data column. To access the Tabular Options dialog box, first double-click on any text output to maximize it. Then click on the text with the right mouse button. Select tabular options from the pop-up menu that's displayed. Here's some typical output from the simple regression analysis. You see a left-hand pane containing text and a right-hand pane with a graph. If I double-click in the left-hand pane, it'll maximize the text. I can then right-click and select Tabular Options to display the Tabular Options dialog box. I'm now going to change some of the attributes of the output. First, you'll see that it's using six significant digits by default to display the numeric results. If I want more significant digits, I can check 8, push Apply, and the output will change. It's also highlighting important results in red. I can remove the highlighting by unchecking the Highlight References box and then pushing Apply. If you look at the Stat Advisor, you'll see it's using an alpha level of 5% to interpret the p-value in the ANOVA table. If I change the alpha level to 1% and push Apply, the interpretation will change. I can also reduce the size of the output from 7.5 to 6 inches if that fits my reports better. Here's another typical output table, this one created by the multiple regression analysis. It's a table that shows for each row in the analysis the observed values, the fitted values, residuals, forecast limits, and so forth. There's so many columns in this table that they've been divided into two sections. To change how this table is displayed, I'll right-click, select Tabular Options, and make some changes on the Tabular Options dialog box. The first thing I'll do is uncheck the box that says Split Wide Tables. When I push Apply, all the columns will be displayed now in a single section. I'll also increase the Reduce Font By field, push Apply, which will reduce the text within the table itself by two points. Finally, I'll go up to the Row Labels drop-down list and select Model. When I push Apply, an additional column will be added to the table to better identify each row. I also want to mention that a new tab has been added to the System Preferences dialog box. It's labeled Text, and it's where you set the default attributes for all future tables. The ability to control text output at this level is a significant enhancement in version 17. 